very nerve-wracking being up here. Thanks, Dylan. It was really fantastic. Uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is Zach. Zach's a member of the of one of the magazines at the Youth Development Unit. One of the magazines. We only produce one magazine. <laughs> We're not a publishing agency called Switch. And uh, Zach wrote a piece in Switch for this upcoming edition, and um, it was brought to my attention. And I thought that's fantastic. You all need to hear, and also great way to promote Switch. So um, Zach, welcome to the mic. Good morning, everyone. In a world so intent on preaching the need to be kind and the need for everyone to be equal, society sure does a wonderful job of shooting that notion in the chest. From the moment we step foot inside a school, from the second we begin making friends, the idea that the person next to you is no different than you are is drilled into us. Some clearly miss the memo, some choose to ignore it, others don't understand it. It's true. The person next to you, no matter who they are, are the same as you. They feel the same as you. They smile, they laugh, they hurt, they cry, they dream, they aspire, they inspire, they fear, they live, just like you do. So tell me then, why is gay marriage still barred under Australian laws? Why are GLBTI people still discriminated against in 2013? If you are someone who shares the ignorant, naive, senseless view that gay and lesbian people should be ex excluded from the basic human right to marriage, it's time to wake up from your six decade sleep. It's time to stop bathing in your own foolishness. It's time to break away from the views that should have been exterminated by now. It's time to grow up. Sometimes I find myself lying down at night with nothing but my thoughts to keep me entertained. My mind wanders towards the discrimination African American people had to contend with up until the 70s. I think about how a Martin Luther King led revival saved thousands of lives and changed the living conditions for millions of people across America and throughout the world. I think about how Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a power stricken white man throughout the most violent period of white versus black disputes. However, what I think about most is the fact that people can now look back at the utter ignorance so many white people showed throughout the darkest period in, in American history. It fills me with joy that the dream of one man can spark a, a global change. Well now, some 18,094 days after King delivered the famous speech in front of 250,000 human right a rights activists at Washington DC, I have a dream that one day we, as a society, will look back upon those who harboured negative attitudes towards GLBTI people and we will laugh, as a collective, at just how wrong they were. This is my plea to you. Fight for the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender and intersex people of the world, as sexual preference does not reflect character and as it does not define a person. Fight for the people who have had their rights stolen. Don't harbour hatred. Change. Be better. Please. I have no doubt that one day this issue will be solved. One day gay and lesbian people will be allowed to marry under the Australian Constitution. Make no mistake, be under no illusion, it will change. GLBTI people are just like you are. They love just like you do. Open your eyes. Thank you. Wow. Young people, they're forever fantastic. Thanks, Zach.